how to use a seedling heat mat to start seeds. Learn how to use a heat mat to help seeds germinate. LSI Global Greens. Overview. A seedling heat mat, it heats your soil by about 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 to 11 degrees Celsius warmer than the air temperature. It keeps the soil at a constant temperature and helps the seeds germinate. This is called bottom heat. The mat uses an electrical outlet. The soil is warmer than the surrounding air. Use a heat mat when you start warm weather crops. Some seeds need to start in a greenhouse before they are transplanted outside. In places with cold winters, warm weather does not last long enough to grow these crops without a greenhouse. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, melons, woody herbs, and perennial flowers like to start indoors with a heat mat. The table shows seeds that like bottom heat and seeds that do not. Why learn about this? A heat mat warms the soil so your seeds can germinate indoors when soil and air temperatures are too cold outside. Soil will have less disease and fungus. Cold, wet soil brings fungus and disease. You can germinate seeds faster if you are rotating trays. Heat mats are affordable. They cost between $15 and $60. You can find them at a garden and hardware stores or online. We plant seeds outside in the spring and summer when the soil temperature is warm because seeds germinate best when the soil is warm. Soil temperature. Seeds germinate at different temperatures. If the soil temperature is too cold, some seeds cannot germinate. If the soil temperature is too warm, some seeds cannot germinate. Temperatures for seed germination from University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources Cooperative Extension. Four things to remember. The mat is waterproof, but the wire connections are not. Do not get wires wet. Use a mat that is the right size. Too small? Some seeds will not be on the mat, so seeds will not germinate. Too big? You waste energy. Heat only helps with germination. When most of the seeds sprout, take them off the heat mat to avoid weak, leggy plants. You will need to water more when you use a heat mat. Bottom heat dries the soil more quickly. Your plants will need more water. This tray was not on a heat mat. This tray was on a heat mat. Vocabulary, heat mats come in different sizes. Two popular sizes are 10 by 20 mat fits one tray, 10 by 48 mat fits four trays. Electrical outlet is where electricity comes from. Heat mats need electricity. If a power source is not close, use a heavy duty extension cord. Germination is the growth of a plant from seed to sprout. Bottom heat is a heat that comes from beneath the trays. It helps warm weather crops germinate. This mat fits one tray. This mat fits four trays. Cycling trays. You can take trays off the heat mats and put new trays on. This is called cycling trays. You do not need to have enough space on the heat mats for all the trays you will need. You can leave a tray on the heat mat for seven to 14 days until it germinates. Then take it off and put a new tray on. These seeds germinated, the grower takes it off the heat mat to make room for another tray of seeds. Water your trays. When you heat soil from underneath, it dries out more quickly. Your plants will need more water. Keep an eye on the soil. Is it moist? Is it dry? Remember, 
Trays can dry out fast. Keep the soil moist. The top tray is moist. Seeds will germinate. The bottom tray is too dry. Seeds may not germinate. Materials, heat mat, power source, trays, potting soil, seeds. Thermostat box. This is optional. The thermostat will turn off the heat mat when it gets too hot. Water the soil before filling your trays. You stop the soil from losing half its size when you water the trays after seeding. Your plants will have more soil to grow in. The farmer fills a bin with soil and waters it before filling the trays. Fill an open tray or cell pack with soil. Water the soil before you plant seeds to make sure the seeds have contact with the water. Seeds must be wet to germinate. Moist soil stays warm better than dry soil. This tray and cell pack are ready for water and seeds. Use a pencil or your fingers to poke holes in the soil. You can make trenches in the top of the soil or broadcast seed. Put seeds into the soil. These trays are watered and seeded. Different seeds germinate at different speeds. Plant only one type of seed in each tray so they germinate at the same time. If you plant tomato seeds in a hot pepper tray, the hot peppers might germinate before the tomatoes. The tomato seeds need more time on the heat mat than the peppers. These seeds germinate slower than these seeds. Put your tray onto the heat mat. Remember to label your trays. The seeds are in the soil. The tray is labeled. The tray is on the heat mat. Plug the mat into the thermostat box, if you have one. You can set the temperature of your heat mat with one of these. Then plug the thermostat box into an outlet. Or plug the heat mat directly into the outlet. Use a heavy-duty extension cord if the heat mat cord is not long enough to reach the outlet. Use string or rope to tie the cords together. Messy cords will make problems. Thermostat box. The thermostat box connects to an extension cord. Plug it into an electrical outlet. The thermostat sensor goes into the seed tray soil. The heat mat is on. Keep it on all day until the seeds sprout. It is very important to keep the heat mat on so your seeds have even bottom heat. Heat moves from the heat mat to the soil. Check on your seedlings every day. Make sure they have enough water, air, and light from the sun or grow lights. Remember to label your trays. You can water your tray on the heat mat. The heat mat can get wet. Do not get water on the electrical connections. You can use plastic domes to help the seeds stay moist. Too much moisture can make green algae grow on the soil. Is there green algae growing on the soil? Remove the plastic dome and let the soil dry out a little bit if this happens. These trays have plastic domes to keep the soil and seeds moist. Do not leave the seedlings on the heat mat after they sprout. The plants will become leggy and weak. Remove the tray from the heat mat when most seeds have sprouted. Now you can put a different tray on the heat mat. The grower removes the tray that has sprouted. Put the seedlings in the greenhouse or under grow lights for four to six more weeks. Start another round of seeds.
These trays are off the heat mats. They continue to grow until it is time to transplant outside. Comprehension questions. One, which seeds can you start with a heat mat? Two, how will a heat mat help your seeds? Three, how will you connect the heat mat to a power source? Four, when will you take your tray off the mat? Acknowledgements. Funded by the Office for Partnerships and Public Engagement at the USDA. Text and photos by Sam Miller at LSI Global Greens. Edited and produced by ISED Solutions. Protected by Creative Commons License.